This is Justin with your fishing report out of the Northeast. This is a great time to get out and fish. The last few weeks have been a little colder than normal. Because of that, fish seem to be a little bit behind schedule. From our sampling, we are seeing bass staging in deeper water. Try targeting your favorite lure in six to 10 foot of water. Deeper points have been producing consistent numbers of fish. I would expect that they would be moving up towards the beds in the next week or two if the temperatures continue to hold out. Crappie are holding tight to habitat and moving up in the shallow water. Try targeting the fish with your favorite jig or use a minnow. Use your graph to scan the tops of fallen trees or department place piles. We have also been seeing bluegill and red ear still in deeper water. Try targeting these fish on the deeper edges with adjacent shallow flats. That should do it for us in the Northeast. Good luck the next time you go fishing. This is Marcy Anderson with the Fishing Report for Southeast Kentucky. Water temperatures are running in the low to mid 60s at area lakes. On Lake Cumberland, lake levels are falling and are nearing summer pool. We've been hearing some good reports of striped bass being caught from the surface down to 30 feet on shad and the striper are looking very healthy and plump this spring. Black bass are being picked up on swim baits in shallow areas around cover. Crappie are being picked up on jigs and minnows in the upper portions of the creek around cover. On Laurel River Lake, largemouth bass are being picked up on soft plastics around shallow cover, and the smallmouth bass are holding on rocky shallow points. On Dale Hollow, the bite has been good as of late. Try targeting smallmouth bass on gravel banks and points in 10 feet of water using swim baits and jerk baits. Largemouth bass are being picked up on soft plastics around shallow cover in the upper parts of the creeks. Bluegill and red ear are being picked up in shallow cuts and in coves on night crawlers. Rainbow trout are recently stocked in area water bodies, including Burt T. Combs Lake, Beulah Lake, and Right Fork Buffalo Creek in Owsley County. Just a reminder that Burt T. Combs Lake ramp is still closed to boats on trailers, but the lake does remain open. So good luck and good fishing. This is Jeremy Shifley with a fishing report from the Northwest District. Recent rain has bumped Rough River and Nolin River lakes several feet above Summer Pool. Rough is about six feet above pool and no land is about three feet. Water temps are in the upper 60s and be on the lookout for some floating debris on the lakes, especially in the upper ends. The majority of our bass are post-spawn and have been a little hit and miss lately with mostly smaller fish being caught. Most activity has been in the creeks and main lake pockets. Try spinner baits, medium running crankbaits, and plastics five to 10 feet deep. Most crappie are transitioning to summer habitat, but you can still find some on shallow treetops two to five feet deep. But don't forget that brush and standing timber eight to 15 feet deep as well. I've heard that minnows have been working really well lately, but those fish will still bite tubes, jigs, and grubs as well when you can find them. At Rough, the hybrid fishing is heating up. Jerk baits, shallow crankbaits, and Alabama rigs are catching very nice fish, 18 to 20, 21 inches. When the water is high like it is now, target sandy beaches and shorelines around North Fork, Axtell, and Laurel Branch. We surveyed some really nice largemouth bass at the state lakes over the past two weeks. We saw multiple post-spawn fish at or over five pounds at each lake we visited. Most of the big fish were three to eight feet deep near cover, that being laydowns, brush, and some larger rock. Most fish that we observed at Lake Malone had consumed four to six inch shad very recently. So shad imitating crankbaits or swim baits should be very productive right now. We also observed red ear sunfish beginning to spawn. Target shallow water near overhead cover with a light drop shot set up rigged with live bait. The bluegill are just a bit offshore, but we'll be moving in soon as the water warms a few more degrees. Right now, try 1 16th ounce feather jigs or live bait under a bobber in about three to four feet of water near overhead cover or shoreline structure. Otter Creek Outdoor Rec area and Sinking Creek will be receiving stalker rainbow trout this week, and the Finns Lakes will be getting another catfish stocking in two weeks. It's a great time to be outside. Good luck and tight lines.